Welcome everyone to the first installment, the first lesson of geometry, where we will talk about points, lines, and planes before we get started. I hope you're not distracted by the mask that I'm wearing, but I do want to make sure that we are all safe as we go through this learning experience. Uh, but today we're going to talk about the building blocks of geometry. The, uh, this is where it all begins. Uh, let's start with this. Uh, everything in geometry is made up of points. What is a point? It is a location. Okay, so a location uh, has no length, no width, no thickness. It is simply a point somewhere in the universe. Okay? It has absolutely no dimension. Okay, um, we represent points by drawing a dot. Um, a dot represents it. Sorry about the plane that's flying over here. I'm doing this outside. Um, the, we name a point with a capital letter. Um, that way we can, can say specifically what we're talking about. So here's an example. This over here would be point A. This point over here is point T. This point is point W. Um, without the capital letters, uh, I wouldn't be able to let you know that I'm talking about this specific location. So the dots represent those specific places, and that's how we do that. You saw that in algebra, I do believe. Um, a line is a set of points. So lines are made up of an infinite set of these, an infinite set of locations, uh, an infinite set of points that extends in two opposite directions. So a line has length, but it has no width, no thickness, which is why it has one dimension, its length. We represent a line with the segment, with the arrows on the end of it. Uh, that should look familiar to you as well from algebra. How do we name a line? Well, we do it two ways. We either use a lowercase letter or we use two points that are on the line and put a line over it. Uh, here's an example. If there's just a line that's got a lowercase letter next to it, we'd call that line K, lowercase letter K. Or if we have a line that has two points, the point A and point B are on it, we can call that line AB, the capital letters for the points, and then it's a little line over it. It's the line that contains those two points. Um, we can name it, it the other way, too. It could be line BA is the line that contains points B and A. It's the same line. And if there was some other um, point in there, we could use the C as well. It's line AC would be the same line as line AB. Any two points on there. We wouldn't use more than two, though. That ends up getting redundant. That's what a line is. Um, it just goes in one particular direction. A plane, well, it goes, it basically creates a flat surface. It's an infinite set of points extending to make a flat surface, like the piece of paper that you're using. is an example, a representation of the plane. It's got length and width, but no thickness. It's got two dimensions, a two-dimensional flat surface, like your desk, like a piece of paper, like a wall. Um, we represent it with a polygon. It's usually a parallelogram, but it can also just simply be a triangle. A triangle is the most basic representation of a plane. Um, we can name a plane two different ways. We can either use a capital letter, like, like a point, but it's just that there'll be a capital, usually cursive letter that's in the corner of it. We would name that um, plane M. Or um, the points are, and when they're drawn, they're usually on the outside of it, but, um, but it's just basically you define um, that shape, in this case, this like parallelogram, this quadrilateral, A, B, C, D, or I could go, I could start at B, B, A, D, C, or I could really start at any spot and just work my way around that, but using, all, using multiple letters to name the plane. Okay, what is space? The final frontier. The space is simply the set of all points. Space is everywhere, everything in geometry. It has length, it's got width, it's got thickness, it's three dimensions. Um, we live in a three-dimensional world, so what is a representation of it? It's, oh, it's the universe. It's the world we live in. It's the universe we live in. Uh, we don't really call it anything other than, yeah, it's, there's, there's space is space. It's everything. Uh, what's an example of it? Look around wherever you are right now. You're looking at space. Uh, but we could represent a three-dimensional object, like with a cube or a box or a cylinder or what have you. Those are all different things. Um, okay, so let's, let's talk about how we can use this. Um, 
in this, this, this is a geometry type diagram here. Hopefully you can see all the points with their names. Um, here, do you see that this is going to be called plane M up here? With it's got the capital letter up in the corner. Um, all right, so just to just to get us started here, how many other names are there for C H? Well, how many points are on that line? Well, there's an infinite set of points. However, uh, there's only three that are names. So, how many names can we do this? I'll let you pause and pause the video and just think about it for a second. How many can you come up with? Okay, the simple thing you can do is just reverse the letters, HC, but then we can use uh, the D, uh, CD and DC, line CD, line DC, and then line DH and line HD. Those are the, so there's actually six names. So I'm going to let, no, we'll talk about these answers in class. Um, number two, how many other names can you write for GE? See how many you can come up with. What do you think the intersection of line CH and line GE is? We'll talk about what that means in class, but I want you to think about it. What do you think the intersection is? And then how many points are in plane M? From what we've said here, what, what do you think the answer to that question would be? Okay, I'm also not going to walk you through this. I want you to just to try to remember. Try, come up with, how did you use points? So wh where were points in Algebra 1? Where were lines in Algebra 1? Uh, go ahead and answer these questions as best you can. Yeah, don't stress over these, but just see what you can come up with. See what you can remember. What is the equation of the line that you learned in Algebra 1? There's actually three of them. How many points did you use in Algebra 1 to make the equation of the line? And then how did you use a plane? Did you, do you remember using a plane in Algebra 1? Okay, that's what... Uh, just see what you can come up with on those. Once you've given that a... Um, a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, flip over the page and we'll uh, go over this. I didn't mean to fill that up, but here we go. Um, to the right is a coordinate plane. That's how you used planes in algebra, remember? That coordinate plane just had the x-axis horizontally, the y-axis. Yeah, you, you, you talk about planes. The plane is based on two perpendicular lines, the x-axis and the y-axis. The locations are, are created by ordered pairs. And the form, or X is always first and, and Y is second. X, the horizontal, and then vertical. Uh, the two axes divided into quadrants. Uh, quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, quadrant 4. It starts here, where both of them are positive as, as 1, and then it goes around counterclockwise. 1, 2, 3, 4. All of this is stuff that you hopefully remember from algebra. The point where the axes intersect is called the origin. It has the, it's the ordered pair, 0, 0, oftentimes uh, named, like we did on the other page, with the letter O. So let's uh, remember how to plot a point on here. So this is a specific location, A. I'm going to put a dot where 5, 3 is. I'm going to go to the right, 5, and up 3. That's where point A is. Point B is going to go to the left, negative 4 left 4, and then down negative 1, down 1. Uh, left 4, down 1, uh, and then that one is in quadrant 3. Hopefully, these are things that you remember from algebra. C goes over here. It's going to uh, 8 to the right, negative 3, down 3. That's in quadrant 4. 0, 7, I'm sorry, 0, negative 7. It's going to go left and right, 0, and then down 7. Negative 7 is down. And it's on the axis, means there's no quadrant. Um, negative 5, 5, left 5, up 5, that's where point E is. So that's, hopefully that can help you remember. I'm just trying to relate uh, that, we, yeah, these naming points like this, drawing these dots with capital letters, this is not new to you. Um, you can rem remember some things. Uh, while we're remembering things, let's come down here to this next section. Next section. Uh, point M and point N are there. Uh, plot them. If we connect to the, uh, the two points, we get a line segment. That's not a line because it doesn't go on forever. But we can, ex uh, and we will name the segment. We'll talk a lot more about this in the days to come. But if we don't put the line on either side of it, then, then it's called a segment. It has ending. It becomes the line with the arrows like we talked about on the other side of the page. And what I want you to remember um, right now from this is when we, to talk about um, slope. So, um, what is the formula for slope? 
hopefully remember. But here's what it is. M is the letter we use for slope, and that's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The change in y over the change in x, or the rise over the run. So I'm going to walk you through trying to remember what, how to do slope. I will use um, y2 is 3 minus y1 is 4 over x2 is 2 and then y1 is negative 3. So that's 2 minus negative 3. It doesn't matter which point you call x1 and y1 or the other because check this out. If I started with this, I would go y2, 4 minus y1, 3, but it's um, the, this y coordinate minus that one. I'm going through this pretty quickly because this is stuff that I hope that you remember. Um, if you're like, wait, I don't remember this, Let's, we'll work on it in class some too, but, but um, this is, this hopefully is review for you. Um, all right, that is the slope. It's The slope is negative 5. Um, I would love for you now to just see if you can remember and apply, uh, see if you can find the answer to these last three questions, and we'll talk about those answers in class. Have a great rest of your night. Get some rest. we got a lot of good stuff to do. See you. Bye.